Hi everyone, my name is Mama Rufus Shahendra from IUP class, Statistic 1, lecture by Prof. Inna Susilowati on the International Program of Economics and Development Studies, Diponegoro University. This 3 minutes presentation was created to fulfill the requirement for the second semester final examination. In this opportunity, I would like to present about the downfall of Garuda Indonesia. Garuda Indonesia being the national airline of Indonesia, who used to be the top 10 best airline in the world, is starting to drop down since 2018. This makes people disappointed and wonder what happened inside Garuda Indonesia. For the formulation of the problems are, how much is the decrease in the number of passengers? How much has the number of Garuda Indonesia flight frequencies decreased? This research was conducted to determine the decrease in the number of Garuda Indonesia airline users and the method that was used in this research is descriptive method and is taken from the Garuda Indonesia website garudaindonesia.com From the data that has been calculated, Garuda Indonesia had the highest number of passengers in 2018 as many as 38.4 million passengers which continued to decline in 2019 as many as 31.8 million passengers. Then, in 2020, the number of passengers was dropped to only 10.8 million passengers. For the highest flight frequency occurred in 2018 as many as 290,000 flights, in 2019 decreased by 230,000 flights, and con continued to decline in 2020 as 130,000 frequency flights and the aircraft occupancy rate in 2018 was 75%, then fell slightly 74% in 2019, and decre decreased drastically in 2020 for 45%. Based on the data above, it shows that there has been indeed a decrease in passengers carried in flight frequency from 2018 to 2020. This is due to the following factors, company management, external factors, competitors, and COVID-19 pandemic. To anticipate the downfall of Garuda Indonesia, the company should improve its system managerial, then increase the company and service innovation to be the top of the competition, especially after the pandemic. Thank you for listening this 3 minutes presentation. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Also, thank you to Professor Indah Susilowati, the mentors, and all of my friends who helped me to complete this 3 minutes presentation.